Hi and welcome to today's video. Today we're going to look at how you can create a stunning logo in mid-journey. So let's get started. Let's say first of all we want to create a logo for AI7 Studio, which is the company we're doing the videos for in this image channel. So we just type in, let's start very simple, create a logo for AI7 seven studio let's try that so we'll try a lot of different things to see what the outcome will be a lot of different variations and then we also will try a lot of different styles so we will put in some designers we will also try to mix it with some um, images we are uploading and see what is coming out so you see already it's generating we are on fast mode so it's pretty fast i want to show you the best settings to do that before we get started so if you go to slash less settings it's i would recommend to turn on the version 4 here and then also the remix mode because then it is easier for you to have for variation at one time already so it's much faster so we'll just dismiss this match message here and we will take a look here yeah i mean it's it's not it's not bad uh, what you will see in the current versions of mid journey is that it will not be able to get the text right i played around quite a lot to remove the text but i have not been able to do that so we'll just recommend to create the logo and then export it into Photoshop or Canva or whatever and cover the text and write over the text. So you see that that's not bad. So let's keep on working with that version just to show you what is possible. So again, I type in here, imagine, we'll just take away this unnecessary characters from copying it and then we will add some stuff to it. So we will just add, for example, white background so it's easier for us to have it white background and let's also add vector or just have a look here just add a vector and see what comes out now so now the logo should have a nice white background it would be easier for us to modify it later on as we have to change the text probably and this will give us the opportunity to import it in other tools. It's already generating. We are pretty fast today, as you see, and we see it's a white background and it looks like the logo will be much clearer now. It's interesting. I tried to generate that before already this logo sets and it very interestingly came up for AI7 with this A here. If you look in detail at the A, there is a combination of a 7, an I and an A, which is pretty interesting. So this is not bad, as you see already. So of course, it depends on your taste. But for some people, I guess this one would be the favorite in this case. So let's just say this would be one of the favorite versions that you want to work on. So we would just go down and count it. This is one, this is two, this is three. So just click on the version three and it will generate some more versions of this. And because I have the, the remix model on, so it will generate four versions of it. Let's continue with that. So we'll just go ahead and put in imagine, copy in the prompt from before again. And now we will just type in some other stuff to see what the impact is actually on the outcome. So we will again type in vector, white background I think was good. Then we could also type in something like uh, minimal and flat, simple, and let's try that i copy that and then next step i want to try some 2d or 3d versions so this uh, generated already here variations of the logo you see it is pretty similar to the version that we used to generate this image from 
So it's, it's pretty nice and you will see that in a second we will have new variations. Now it looks it's much more flat and it's much more simple because we used this minimal and simple words here in our prompt. It looks to be much, much simpler. Yeah, I like it. Looks pretty good now. So if you want to make more variations of this logo, you just click here and generate more variations of this. So if you especially like the number one and number three, for example, I would just go ahead and make some more versions of it, number one and number three. So you see there's a lot of things that you can do. You can also go ahead and do it, for example, in, I guess you could put like a comic style or cartoon, cartoon style. Let's see what comes out here. I think I have two. Let's see if it's generating. I copy it again. Two slashes in the beginning. So let's see if it, the cartoon style is working as well. So here you see it made some very nice, very simple versions of that. Here are some new versions. I think it looks pretty good. What I want to try now or want to show you is that you can also look for designers, for famous logo designers. Here are the 10 most famous logo designers, they say. So uh, for example, Paul Rand made the IBM, the UPS logo, and here some other logos. What I like is, for example, the, let's see if we can find it, the Apple logo. Let's just see if we copy the Rob Chenoff. And we just try to put it in, in our prompt. So I will go ahead again, delete all this style. So I delete all the vector wet background and I will just copy in here, for example, type in Rob Chenoff, if it lets me, style and see what comes out. And I also want to try that with this other guy. So I will just Copy this prompt again. I don't have to type it. Not sure what happened here. Copy text. So let's also try that with a different name. Let's try it with the creator of the FedEx logo, for example, Linden letter and one more time we can do it with the creator of the nike logo let's see if it makes any difference and the creator of the nike logo it tells me here is caroline caroline davidson style so let's have a look So this logo we typed in London letter. I think we also have to add to that the white background and, and all the other stuff to really make it work good. So I go ahead again and type in the imagine, copy it in, and it's still the, the logo type Here we fix that. We still will have it Rob Chenoff style, but we will extend this with simple white background vector. What else? Vector and minimal and see what comes out. I think it works much better. You need to combine these elements. Otherwise, 
it's maybe the style, but the white background is missing because this is really the style of the guy. It needs some more parameters, it seems, yeah. And it starts to look much better, but maybe the engine or the AI is also not recognizing the logo style or the design in this case, it's also possible. Let's see what comes out. I mean, it's a very different topic as well. So, but it's already very close, I would say, to the FedEx, or it's in some kind. It could be like it's the, looks like it's the font of the Hawaiian Airlines, if you look closer here. And it seems to have some elements. One more thing I want to do before we end this video, you see you can do quite a lot with that. I want to try to upload some logos, like the Apple logo and the IBM logo. And then as soon we have the image links, so I will copy this now and say copy media link. And I want to say imagine. I will type in the image link and then I will say logo for AI. Let's say AI7 Studio Company. Let's see if it will take the logo in any shape or form to include it. And I will also take this one, the IBM, and look if there is anything coming out with that. So we just take here, create logo for AI7 Studio Company. Oh, that looks great as you see. <laughs> so we, we're getting the shape of the Apple and it's really trying to make this out of the logo. Let's one more time copy this text and go ahead, say, imagine, I just strip away the things that we don't need. And I think we should add again here the white background and the simple stuff. I mean, that's that's a really it's a really nice uh, design. I would say if you if you're into that, like the second one where we see the apple. But let's let's see white background and simple, maybe also flat. Let's see what comes out here. I will just copy this, take away this and copy it again. So what came out here? This is pretty interesting. This is a pretty strange, I would say, with the IBM logo, we have quite a strange result. But with the Apple logo, I think it's really interesting. You really see that this logo was used to create parts of our new logo. And as I said, unfortunately, Midjourney is not very good or is actually in the moment still very bad with text. So there's not much you can do. What I would suggest is if you like one of the logos, let's say you like the third logo here or the second logo here, or let's say the fourth logo, then you would just go ahead and upscale this. So upscale the number four wait until it's upscaled, go to the upscale beta button again, so you will upscale it again, so you have a big version, you have the best version that is possible at the moment. And maybe you also want to play around with the aspect ratios, as I showed you in the last video. So if you don't want to have squares for the logo, if you want to have for any reason some different formatting, you could go ahead and just type in AR, for aspect ratio, let's do that one more time. So I just copy in this image prompt again. So let's see. Image prompt. And we will just put in the aspect ratio, just type in AR. And then for example, for logo, it's not, it's not really used that much, but if for any reason you want to have the aspect ratio 
16 to 9 also for your logo, then you could do that. So this is the logo that was what generated now for version 4. And I would recommend to detail upscale that logo again. And then you will see you have a big version. You can click on the web link here that I will show you and go to your Mid Journey account basically. And in your Mid Journey account, you will be able actually to download it in very high resolution. This is important to do because this resolution should be very high. Uh, keep in mind, these are not vector images. Maybe you can find a different program that you can make it a vector, but these are not vector images. So it has, they have got pixels and these are also very nice variations, I would say. So this is generating now. And as soon as it is ready, I will click on the web link and we go into the interface of the Mid Journey account. And then you can download it. And I also will show you how to make the resolution of this logo or of the images bigger using tools like Photoshop. I found that Photoshop is the best solution to do that because in Photoshop you can just go in and very simply set up or increase the pixels from the image and it's also pretty cheap the Photoshop this uh, subscription I think it's around ten dollars per month and you can use Photoshop also in this case for example to change the image or change the, the text on the image so as soon the image is upscaled, I am back and I will show you the last steps. So we are now back and it's upscaled and I just click here on the web and you will see if you scroll down, it's 2,048 times 2,048 pixels. It's not bad. So what I will do is I will go up here and more and save it to my images. Then I will go ahead and open Photoshop. I will close that. I will import a photo from my camera roll. It's imported now. And then I simply go on the right top. I click on image size. Then I will see at the moment the problem with printing. For the screen, it would be okay. If you want to print that as well, you just have 72 DPI. So you need to, for print, for digital print, it's recommended to have 150, but uh, for offset print, so if you really want to send it somewhere to print it, I would recommend to have a 300. Keep in mind that this is still um, pixel, so it's not vector, but you can very easily redo it. But I will just upscale it now. So you have the 300 DPI and you will see Photoshop is very fast in doing that. So this is just some seconds and you will have a really big image that you can print on t-shirts, you can print on your hat or whatever. So if I make that bigger now, you will see that the 100% now here on the top, you see this is 100% now, so 100% and it's a really big logo now. And the next step, what you could do in your logo design, of course, you could go ahead. I don't want to show you in this video, but you can just go ahead and fill this white background here, for example, and put in your, the right letters of your logo. So I hope that was useful and I see you in the next video. Bye-bye. See you. Take care.